Everybody knows Isaac Newton, the man who discovered gravity. The common tale being that he was asleep under a tree when an apple fell on his head and he had an epiphany. Strangely enough, though, not everybody knows about his more important work that has become the foundation of modern-day mechanics, Newton's Three Laws of Motion. My job here is to tell you about the second. The second law states that the acceleration of a body is directly proportional to, and in the same direction as, the net force acting on the body, and inversely proportional to its mass. Thus, F equals M times A, or A equals F over M, where F is the net force acting on the object, M is the mass of the object, and A is the acceleration of the object. Now there's something in there that might not have caught your attention, but should have. Net force. So what, you're probably thinking, isn't that just the same thing as any old force? No. It is the net force that is related to acceleration. It is in fact the vector sum of all forces acting upon the object. In comparison, the force is as much the net force as an iPod Nano is a NASA supercomputer. To explain the second law, let's use something more ordinary. A man falling to his death, for example. In this instance, F becomes W, the weight of the man, and A becomes G, the local gravitational acceleration, which is roughly equal to 9.8 meters per second per second. Remember, small g is not to be confused with big G, the universal gravitational constant. Thus, the formula becomes W equals M times G. From here, it's a simple calculation. M equals 70, G equals 9.8 meters per second per second, so W equals 70 times 9.8 equals 686 newtons. For a more complicated example, let's take a spaceship traveling through an asteroid field. Up until the ship comes within close proximity of them, the gravitational pull is so low that it can be considered null. But on approach, it deviates from its initial trajectory because of the gravity field created by each asteroid, and it becomes increasingly attracting depending on the size of the asteroid. This vector representing all the forces, is the net force.